Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure today, Giorno Giovanna and Golden Experience Requiem. So it's that classic scene um, in the, one of the final episodes where Gurr comes out. So kind of close up on their faces, uh, Golden Experience is in um, three quarter pose, right? So a little bit tricky, definitely use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? So center point of my page is about here. We'll start with Gurr over this side. Gurr. Um, and we'll start with his eye. So center point about here, come down, cross to the right. So you need to leave room for like his big head and stuff. So you're gonna start with like these circular eyes of his first. So you do like a round circle. If you have like a coin or a compass or a stencil, that you could use to get the circle, feel free. Or practice your freehand circles. They're not easy. Right, something like that. And then um, he has a pupil in the middle, right? Just there. And then he has this line that comes out of it so like a i don't know what would you call it like a spike like there and then we have a pink iris that comes out and it's underneath that spike so that's why we draw the spike first like so so now it's eye that's around it right so we just come out here and we go up into there out the other side and then this comes down around in behind that eyeball and then it's gonna come out here into there right and then all in there is black but I'll color it at the end and then this comes up to there and then we bring it down like so and then he has like a line on the inside for a shadow. And then another here. Like so. So then we have a sort of a brow line here, comes up the side of his head. And there might be like some hatching and stuff. Just there. So got some like extra lines and stuff coming around his eye. Like some eyelid lines and things like that. Do 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 do. Okay, so we'll go over and do the other eye. So you just do like a smaller sort of circle. He's in three quarter pose, right? They're fairly close in size, but this one is definitely like a little bit smaller than that one. And then we have the pupil again, yeah. So pupil here. And then that spike comes out from there. And then we have his color part of his eye. Comes around to there. Right, so then we have the black part of his eye just here, comes out from behind. And we're in sort of three quarter pose, so it's smaller, right? So comes out there. And the eye sort of juts out. This thing comes down around to there. Up around like so. And then we have those boxes coming out from the eye again. So we got like one coming out here. Like so. And then this sort of shadow line here. And then we bring it down around up and down to there and 
again, we can have some lines sort of on the inside of this sort of brow area coming down here maybe. And sometimes in Jojo, they can be quite dark, you know, dark sort of shadow lines. You know, coming down the side of his nose. Maybe we'll do some here as well. Right, roughly like that. Okay, so let's see. So we can see sort of his mouth. He doesn't have a nose. He doesn't seem to have a nose anyway. There might be like maybe a line, just a light line coming down. Something like hatching just here, but like nothing really in the way of a nose. And then just his mouth down here, so it's curves up, down, across. So we're in three quarter pose now. So that means that this side of his mouth, mouth is smaller. So then this comes down like that, right? It's a particular kind of shape, a bit tricky. And then the inside, down, up, same again, down there. Same again, but kind of smaller. And his mouth is slightly open here in the gap. And then his bottom lip comes across up to there and it looks like there's like some hatching just on his lip there it's in his chin just down here and his jaw so we'll go like up this way It starts to go up towards the top of his head, just up there, like so. So then his mouth here curves around, goes up for his cheek. Right? So we get like curves in and then goes out again, and then it goes out again up here. And we have some of his brow line again, just on this side. Like so we can have some hatching or something there. And then this will go keep going up and around. All right. Now there's some more details sort of on his face down here. So it's like that Jojo sort of cheek line just here. Like so. And then he has um circles on his like cheeks, right? But you can't really see much on this side. You can just see like curve line there maybe some lines under his eye oh and there's like a shadow underneath his chin right so then this circle on this side so we just bring it around his jaw and there's like some skin lines or something around it and then he's got a shadow in here. Okay, so before we do that uh, sort of arrow in the middle of his head, Let's just get the main shapes for the spikes for his head, right? So we've got like a big one, curves up this way. Right, like that. And then we'll bring it back in. Just a bit up there. And then the next one, a bit smaller. Stops about there, and then we curve it down, like so. And then a real big one that will go off the page, right? So it'll go all the way up, like so. And then the other side, right? So this will curve up off the page that way. Yeah. 
and then we can see this sort of other side of this one, right? So it's going to curve down to there. And bring it around kind of like an edge line or something on this just in here. Like so. And then on the inside, we've got a big circle, kind of an oval sort of shape. It's one of those orange circles just here, like so. And then we've got an extra line on the inside. Right, so then this curves down, kind of an edge line to these things, and then Go back up, follow that shape again to there. And then we'll bring it down on this side as well. Like so. Uh, right, so then in here we've got that big arrow, right? So it'll go curve down there. Curve down the other side then. Then we go in, and then it like bends around down the middle. Same on the other side, like so. We'll bring it down to like here, across up to there. And then it can have like these sort of edge lines, like that. Seems to have an edge line here. Comes all the way down. Like so, and then like a shape in the center. It kind of looks like a grain of rice. So, a line coming up the middle again, there. And some hatching, some shadows and stuff. So you can do as much of the shadow work now as you want. Um, No need to do it all. You know, just some general dark shadows. some lines just around the side of that. Right, so then we have some extra circles just on the side of his head. So we got like one, say here. Another coming around. And there seems to be a shadow on the inside.
And then there's another one on this side of his head. So it's like, so it's just this oval sort of shape around here. Curves around, down to there. And then there is a shadow on this side. And it looks like there's like another sort of line here on his head and a couple of other oval lines just here. So, and then there's like some hatching sort of on these. You know, just coming down. Right, so then we can see the shadow kind of of the other side of his head there. And then this comes around the back and it's kind of circular. So it comes around here, like so. And we can see an ear in there. Like some hatching and stuff there. And then his neck, so it kind of comes out from his ear. Weird sort of bulgy sort of neck, Is that that way. Another sort of bulgy line there. And his shoulder, he's looking over his shoulder, so it comes right around the front. So it's going to go big sort of curved line just here, right? And he's got all armor on, so there's like extra lines like this. there and then he has like diamonds all over so diamond there So at the back of his shoulder, he's got a, like a big collar, right? So like, it's gonna go up and around and into the back of his neck here. So it like travels all the way around. And then another bump, just there at the back. Another line, just here. Then we might have some like neck muscle lines there. And then the front of his neck goes into his shoulder. And then there's like hatching lines just all coming down here. And then something at the front. I think it's his shoulder pad on the other side. Right, so that is generally how to draw Gur, and we'll go over now and do journal. So if you wanted to just draw Gur, you could finish the tutorial there. <laughs> so, but we'll go over and we'll do Giorno, Giovanna. So. Right, so just across, we'll start with his eyes. Right, so we will go up, cross, and then it goes down, kind of flicks out. So 
So he's fr he's frowning quite heavily, right? So we got to draw in his eyebrow. It's because it comes like right over his eye. So it like comes up this way. It's kind of a wavy sort of eyebrow line. Like that, right? So then we can thicken up this eyelid line now. So, and then add eyelashes, like big eyelashes. It's Jojo, so lots of eyelashes. Like so, and then the bottom eyelid again, same sort of thing. Real thick, right? That's the general shape. And then we thicken it up. So, and colored it. And then eyelashes stick out from there. So, and then his iris, half circle, like so, and then his pupil. In the middle, and as in Jojo style, we have some highlights drawn in usually. Like so, and then we're just thicken around the edge of his iris and add some iris lines coming in that way. So then you have an eyelid line, some sort of hatching coming up here. All right, so then we go over and do the other one. So we'll, we'll draw the eyebrow first this time. So that comes up. So this one doesn't go the whole way because it goes underneath his hair. Right, so we're not gonna close it off. And then this eyelash line comes out, down, goes across, and you just sort of thicken it up. And we'll have a little bit sticking down here. And you just color that in dark. And then the bottom eyelash so it goes around. It sticks out, it sticks out here. And then curve it around, out to there, and then just color it in dark. Oh, and the eyelashes, forgot them. So, like the eyelashes sticking up, like so. And then his iris, half circle. Cover around here. You can like thicken this up. Pupil, just in here. Closer to his top eyelid a little bit. And then we'll add those highlights just there and some lines coming out like so. Oh, 
or an eyelashes on the bottom. Okay, so then his nose, right? So it'll go out from this eyebrow, right, and down. Down like so. Sticks out a little bit here. Comes in. Here we go, diagonal back up. And sort of in for a nostril, right? And there's like a shadow underneath. So we just curve this to there. Like a shadow underneath his nose. And then there are some of those sort of Jojo like shadows, like this stuff coming out around the inside of his eye. Shadows here. And another one on the inside of his right there. There's some hatching lines on his nose as well. Like that. And if you want some more of those shadows, sort of go up towards his hair. Right there. And so then his lip, so top lip, really close to his nose. Curves up and down. That's the middle here, up and down. And then we'll bring this slightly longer because we're in a little bit of three quarter pose. So this side, kind of like Gar's mouth, this side is longer. So in the inside, stretched out letter M again. Right, that side's longer. And then bottom lip comes across there, and you can add some sort of hatching on his top lip. And then a shadow underneath his bottom lip. Like that. And his chin, just here. Like so. So you notice, like proportions, this his head is tilted forward. So this part of his head is much bigger than this part. It's nearly twice the size, right? So here to here is like twice the size of this. So like this part will go like up once, twice, like right up to there. So this is real small. So then his jaw, Let's bring it up the side. Diagonal, right, and then on this side as well. Right, like that. And then we'll curve it around, up the side of his head. And it's one of these designs that, on this side at least, it becomes kind of the ear. So what I mean is, so we got like his ear line coming around here. Like that, and then the earring. And then see this line kind of like becomes this sort of inside line for his ear ligaments. See that? Then another line there. Like so, like a line here, there. 
And on the other side, we can see just his sideburn for his hair. And then his ear comes around like that. And bones and ligament lines on the inside. Comes up like so. Down around. Earring. And there's like these stripes on his ear. I don't know if that's hatching or does he have like more earrings? I'm not sure really. There might be like a shadow in here. Maybe shadow in here. Right, so then we have those cheek lines. So, um, oh, and I forgot the eyelid line here, actually, like the other side with some hatching there. So his hair is all kind of blown in the wind, right? But he does have those two sort of circular spiky things, right? So um, we'll draw them in, right? So we'll just do these kind of curving one. So this one comes up, one, two, right, and a third, three, okay. And then there can be shadows. So like you're just sort of thickening up this bottom part here. So let's see, more lines there, more hair lines, sideburn lines here. These are more spiky, like that. So then these come around and they're like, his hair is kind of blown. So it's kind of messier than normal Giorno. So this kind of comes up right this way. And it kind of spikes off there. And then this will go back in like so and then this one will go like that and then this one kind of goes bikes off this way and then back in join to this one just there and then he has like stuff on the inside like these black sort of circles right so black circle here another one here and they kind of twist out you know sometimes they kind of spiral out sort of detail on these as you want and there can be some like hatching sometimes but just erase that ear line we shouldn't see that and on the inside as well so another spiraling curve line here down up down Okay, so then extra sort of hair details and stuff, right? So, like the side of his head, right? It bumps up this way, right? And then it kind of goes long up here. Yeah, okay. So, this kind of hair goes a bit longer this way. Comes around into there. Right, then we got like texture lines here. Then we have a big, long piece of hair that like waves off like this way. Just 
could go right up off the top of my page, maybe. And then go back down, out to there. And then this will have some extra sort of texture lines on it. You know, some hatching and stuff. And some more wavy hairlines going that way. Texture line there. Texture line. And like hair goes up there. And then go in. More texture lines, lots of them. It's like a shadow on this one. And then another one there. Hatching, and then some more hair spikes in this area. Spiking up and down. So lots of detail in this now, so hit pause now. You know, take your time with it. It's quite a detailed image. And this there. Here's spikes here, there, there. Right, so his shoulder, so we'll go off this way, out from his jaw, right? There's more hair here, but we'll draw his shoulder first. So it kind of comes down, these sort of fold lines come across up these shoulder pads then. So these sorts of lines coming down this way. And then some coming around front of his collar. And he's got those wings on his collar as well. We'll finish his hair first though. So like up to there. More hair waving in the wind. Collar comes down from the front, so his collar comes across here, right? So it's gonna curve down there. And then the other collar comes out from behind his ear, curves down this way. And then it's a doubled sort of line, so this comes down like so. Then we go in behind this sort of golden you know, the love heart that's on his chest. That goes in behind gold experience and then that goes to there. And then there's like circles on it. Like so. Right, so then we have those golden wings that are on his collar. So this kind of spirals out here. Wing two. Three. One there. And then this comes down the side. In under there. And then the wings on the other one. So down. So, and then we got like this sort of spiral shape again. There. And then this will go out to there. And we got like a wing. This will come down to there. <coughs> More of those wings. Mm, more collar sort of goes that way. 
and more shoulder on this side goes off the page that way and what else right so there's like you know there's lots of like hatching and stuff and shadows all here there's a shadow underneath this jaw we'll add that one anyway there another sort of shadow here and shadow in here uh, right but finally I think that that will do that is how to draw Giorno Giovanna and gold experience Requiem hope it's helpful guys thanks for watching like and subscribe see you in the next one bye